Hey, is this that fine little angel that belongs to me? Oh, Jesse, I was just thinking about you. Yeah? Oh, that's good. I like to hear that. Listen, baby, it's all set. Is it? Yeah. Okay, uh, I hope you're as happy as I am, baby. Yeah, of course I am. I'm, I'm real excited. Yeah. Okay, here's the deal. It's the Evergreen Motel, right? It's at the corner of Valley Road and Route 40. You got it? Oh, and the room number is 12, okay? You, you want me to meet you there? Uh, yeah, I think that'd be the best thing, right? Uh, but I'll be there as soon as possible, okay? Don't worry. Okay, um, Jesse, listen, it's, it's gonna take me a little while, because, uh, you know, I'm gonna take care of some things first, okay? Oh, solid, solid. You leave whenever you're ready, all right? Okay. Okay. All right, Jesse, I'll talk to you later. Baby, baby, uh, I'm looking forward to this. I can't wait. seen the TV section? Oh, I think it's still over there with the rest of the paper. Oh, yeah? Okay. Uh, Mom, do you mind if I go over and study with Jenny tonight? Well, why don't you have Jenny come over here? Oh, no, Mama. Well, well, actually, see, Jenny, she's so depressed these days. It's hard to even get her to leave the house. Poor kid. Yeah, so that's why I thought I would stay over, okay? You know, to try and help cheer her up. Yeah, but what about dinner? I was getting ready to fix her something. Oh, Mama, don't go to any bother. Jenny and I will just grab a bite to eat while we're studying. Yeah, well, I sort of thought that we could, you know, have a little something to eat and then maybe watch a movie on TV or something like that. Mama, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. Well, it is, it's just that this is the first night that I'll be here all alone. Oh, I didn't even think of that. It's okay, baby. Don't worry. I'll be all right. In fact, I think I'll call Sandra. Maybe she can come and we can go someplace, have dinner together. Hey, that sounds like a good idea. <gasps> Mrs. Fargate, I've got to speak to Jenny right away. Oh, Angie, she's not here, darling. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, gosh, I've got to reach Jenny. Mrs. Mrs. Fargate, do you have any idea where she could be? Well, I just come in myself, darling. I know she's not upstairs, but... I bet she's left a note in the kitchen. Just a minute. Here we are. She's at the chateau, and she's having dinner with Mrs. Brady and her mom. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Fargate. Mrs. Gardner, Jenny's here with you, isn't she? Yeah, she's dancing with my boyfriend. What's the matter? Look, I need to talk to her. It's real important. Okay, okay. Keep your shirt on. I'll get her for you. Just a sec. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart. <laughs> Honey, excuse me. I have to cut in. Honey, your little friend Angie is over there. She's having a fit. You better go see what it's about. I can't trust you. Jenny, I really need your help. Are you sure this is something you really want to do, or are you being pressured? Well, that's part of it. Oh, Jenny, I'm not sure about anything anymore. Except that I love Jesse, and I want to prove it to him. Yeah, but you shouldn't let yourself be pushed into something that you're not ready for, Angie. I am ready. Well, it sure doesn't sound like it to me. Look, Jesse is tired of waiting, and I don't want him to give up on me. What? Can't you see, Jenny, that I have to go through with it? I don't know, Angie. Last time we talked about this, you were so sure about waiting. You said you wanted to wait. No. But things have changed. What's changed? You haven't. And I know you're not the type of person just to go to bed with someone unless... Unless it's a real commitment. Yes. And this is. Well, if it is, then why don't you wait until it's really right for both of you? I told you I don't want to lose Jesse. What makes you think you're gonna lose him? Angie, I happen to know that that guy loves you. And I happen to know that as soon as Jesse and I broke up, he started sleeping with Vera. But he doesn't love Vera. Jesse has needs. And if I don't fulfill them, then someone else will. <sighs> Angie, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. You just help me out with my cover story, okay? All right. What, you want me to tell your mom that you're spending the night with me, sleeping over? Yeah. Mama would kill me if she ever found I out. I know. I'm sure she would. I just... Don't don't worry about it. I won't say a word to anybody, especially your mom. Oh, oh Jenny. I love you. I knew you would help me out. Sure, I just hope it's right. Oh, no.
Jenny Gardner. Hi, Jenny. How hi. are you? How are you? Hi, Mrs. Baxter. Yeah, hi, Jenny. How are you doing? I'm okay. Uh, girls, what's going on? I thought you guys were supposed to be studying tonight. Oh, yeah, well, see, Jenny's mom and, um... Uh, Mr. Brady, Sam, her, uh, my mama's friend. Yeah, they, they insisted on taking us out to dinner. Fancy. That's yeah. very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we'll leave you right away, see, because we still got to cram for that test tomorrow. Okay, well, uh... You don't stay up too late, here? <clears throat> okay. okay we won't. See you. Bye. Bye. Oh, Jenny, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Don't just just be be calm for a minute. No, I, you haven't even had your dinner. I know, I know. I'll just tell I'll, I'll just tell Mama that we have to go oh, stop. Mama, Mama, when you Mama listen, listen. Um, we're we're gonna. I'm sorry, but we have to leave. We're gonna go study, Angie. What? You know, well, honey, we didn't need anything oh, yet. I know, but I don't need you. I mean, you guys wanted to have your nice night out anyhow, and Angie and I can just grab a burger somewhere. Bye. Hi, Sam. <laughs> Thanks again. Listen, Jenny, bye -bye. You know, your friend can have dinner with us if no, she wants. No, no, she doesn't. She doesn't because we really have to get a lot of studying done. We haven't done anything yet. Right. Come on. Bye, bye. Thanks again. Nice right. to see you. Oh, <laughs> bye, bye. 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 I'm not gonna wait for hours. I'm so glad you're here. Yes, I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I was scared you were gonna change your mind. Is that what held you up? No. I just had some things that I had to take care of. Good. Well, uh, come on over here. I got something for you. Come on, baby. Jesse, wait. What's the matter, baby? I'm not ready yet. What are you talking about? Jesse, I want this to be special. The way it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm lost here. Help me out. I, I don't understand. You see my suitcase? I brought it for a reason. Yeah, well, we're gonna spend the night. You need to change your clothes, right? I bought myself a real beautiful nightgown, Jesse. And I want to put it on, but... You know, before... Hey, I'm, I'm sorry, baby. I didn't even think of that. I know you must think that it's silly, you know, but... It's just that this is real important to me, and... I just want everything about it to be right. 